Hey everyone, it's Andrew from MAO Magic, and today I have the Up24 from Jawbone. This is the second, I guess, in the series. Um, there was the original Jawbone, the, or the original Jawbone Up, then there was the Up24, this one, the upcoming Up3, as well as the Up Move. Make sure you check out my Up Move review if you're looking for a kind of a cheaper alternative and not like a wrist worn wearable like the Up24 or the Up3. So, Let's get into it. The differences between the Up24 and the original Up is the charger is slightly different. It also contains Bluetooth, and uh, that's about it. Those are the main differences. The charger on the Up and the Up24 is just a kind of a USB charger. It's a proprietary little cable they have. The difference between the two is the one on the 24 is designed a little bit differently, and the hole is smaller. So you got about a two and a half millimeter headphone jack on the 24, which is just used for charging, compared to the regular Up, which had a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, like a standard audio port, that you had to manually plug into your phone to sync. So this will just plug in here solely for charging. You can get about two weeks on a single charge, 14 days. It originally shipped with a, a week charging time, and through a software update, they literally doubled the battery life, which is just amazing that they could do that. So it's really, yeah, there's really good development going into these wearables and no other company has done anything like that, like doubled the battery life. It's pretty great. So these caps are super annoying and there's a high chance you're going to lose them. Luckily, third parties as well as Jawbone sell replacement ones. So make sure you don't lose them. Now the seam right around here where this cap kind of connects, these aren't waterproof. These are splash proof. So these can actually like if you too much wear, it can leak in through kind of like this, the ends of the jawbone, both here where the button is as well as the cap. So you should be careful and you should notice if there's any like leaking going on there before it gets ruined. There are two LEDs in here. There is a sun and a moon, um, which signals the different modes. So like you hold it to go into sleep mode and then you can hold it again to leave sleep mode. You can also click once and then click again and hold to enter activity mode. And there's also a nap mode. You can see the pattern here on the front. There are a couple different patterns depending on which one you get, but really that's the main pattern. On the bottom, this uses Motion X, which they you know kind of prominently put here. Both the original Up and the 24 uses Motion X for their, for their actual tracking, but the new Up 3 does not use that. So we can go into that later when that finally is released. And we can see how their fancy new in-house version does instead of outsourcing to Motion X. Um, when you are purchasing one of the up bands, they have this fancy little plastic piece in the front that allows you to choose the size because there are uh, three or four different sizes, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, so for instance, me, I'm, I'm a medium, but you can try it on essentially with that little piece of plastic before actually buying it. They say the up is best worn on your non-dominant wrist, um, obviously with the logo facing you. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I keep mine on my right hand so I can wear a watch on my left, but Either way, it works fine. When you are charging it, so standard USB port, I you know, I have an iPhone charger here, you can use your laptop. Either way, it'll light up and let you know. You'll also get a little notification on your phone if it's within range, saying, hey, your up is fully charged. Grab it and get going. Now, there's a lot of stuff to cover here in the app, so we're gonna go a little bit quick. Um, you can see there are two different versions of the app, which is slightly confusing. This first version of the app only works on the Up3 or your phone. So this allows you to use the app without using any phone at all or without using any band at all, just the app. Then the other version, the one with the blue icon, is the one that uses the Up, the Up24, and the Up Move. <clears throat> so when you go in here, you can dig into all the data, say this is just our activity data, the active time, non-active time, active calorie burn, you can see your entire week. You can see your percentage of your goal. So my goal is 10,000 and I'm at 100% of my goal. You can see any activities you, like that you did. For instance, bike ride here today. You can see when you uh, woke up, when you went to bed. And you can see when you were most active as well as scrubbing along that timeline. You can also tap into that uh, activity. So I can see I did one hour of moderate biking. Underneath your activity, you have all these little cards. There's a lot of these, these can be uh, shared, you know, however you want to share them in Facebook message. Um, but there's all the different ones such as smart coach, like right here, like double up. It told me that I like, did much better than all my other days this week and can help you do better. 
you can also see your friends on here. So I have my friend Steph, my friend Faith, and several others, and you can see how they do. And you can dig into their data as well. You can control exactly what you share. So if you like sync your weight with this app using like the withing scale, you cannot show that information to people. So if you don't want them to see your weight, but you want to see it, then it's nice and kept secret for you. Here are your goals. You can set those and customize them as you want. You can view trends, which is like a long-term thing. You can see weeks, months, everything like that. So you can see how you've been doing over time with your goals. Uh, team obviously shows all of your team, as well as here is the apps. These are all the different ways you can integrate it. So I have Ift or My Fitness Pal. So My Fitness Pal is where I log all my food. That you can do it here. Ift allows me when I wake up to turn my lights on, or Nest when I go to bed turn my thermostat down or withings when I use my scale, it brings it into the app. Plus automatic, which shows all of my driving times in this app and there's a little picture of it. Uh, or up coffee, which shows your sleep patterns against your coffee usage and can tell you how caffeine affects your sleeping habits. There are also insights. Um, some of these can be paid, some are not paid, but there's a huge variety of apps and they keep adding more and more. So I love how many apps really do interface with the Jawbone app and the hardware. When you have the food, you can actually see a food score. So this food is only three out of 10, or 3.5 out of 10, which is not recommended, probably because the ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of sodium in it. And it can give you those food scores so it can help you, bet, help you eat better. Um, and that even counts, like I entered this in from the My Fitness Pal application, but it can still give me that info here in the Up app. So if you want to log the food here, you can actually do it using the camera, and you can take a photo of the food, or scan the barcode. You can look up menus from popular restaurants or just log your water or just type it in manually and it can do a search. It's super easy to tag activities such as just hitting the activity button, choosing all the choosing your activity from the pre-selected activity list. You can also time your activities using that stopwatch feature by clicking once, clicking again and holding. It allows you to choose your effort level, the activity type, what time and the duration, which again, a lot of this can be done manually. And with the up three, it can start to predict these based on the motion that you're doing. So here it is. You can also do these manually from inside the app, such as power nap or activity. It also can do an idle alert. So if you're sitting down too long between like certain hours of the day, it can give you a notification saying, Hey, you've been sitting for an hour and it can vibrate on your wrist. It can also use that vibrating to wake you up in the morning using a smart alarm that when you're at your lightest point of sleep within 30 minutes of your alarm time, it can wake you up. As you saw, you can add your weight manually or with a third party such as Withings. You can set how you feel using this cute little emoticon guy and just dragging up and down the screen. And that about covers it. There's a lot in this app and it just keeps getting more and more as time goes on. They do keep adding features and it's super nice. Even if you don't use the Jawbone uh, actual hardware, you can use the app and just use the accelerometer on your phone to measure it, which a lot of people say is actually more accurate than the bands themselves. They come in several different stylish colors as you can choose from the Up website or as popular retails retailers such as Best Buy or Amazon uh, that you can sell, usually sell for about 100 bucks now, but they retail like normally at 129 If you have any questions, as always, be sure to throw them up in the comments. Please subscribe so I can keep these videos coming, and uh, I'll see you guys all next time.